just a reminder of the very last prediction of the second 9 11 in Philly. And here's why. Today's January 6, 2022. My last prediction is second 9 11 in Philly on 1 8, 2022, 17th JFK, 555. Liberty, 1 and 2, 848. And it has to do with where the William Penn building is. And at 12 noon, time's up. Now the reason why I came up with this is from 1290 days, the 70th year anniversary of Israel becoming a nation again, May 14th into 15th, 2018. But that was the 70 years. 70 years get you to May 14th, 2018. And at 1260 days, October 25th, 26 in the morning, that was the day that I talked to Derek Burrows on the, on the phone for the first time. 1290 days it was just Thanksgiving nothing happened on Thanksgiving besides just eating turkey and then 1335 days January 8th 2022 so this was my last video December 31st and I decided to take a break and just step aside for just step aside from it from uploading anything but because this is coming up in two days and there truly is there's no other prediction that I'll ever make towards the second 9-11 past this day I just I just can't do it anymore. I predicted possibly on that day possibly about possibly about 108 times at least just in the title alone that I mentioned something about a second 9/11 happened in Philadelphia. And then at the very last video, is that the last one? December 14, 2019. October 16th, 2019. So nothing happens. I got one even back till second 9-11 back on October 8th 2019 over two years ago second 9-11 September 26 2019 I'm trying to figure trying to see where I first called on to why do I feel like there's a, a another 9-11 event that's gonna take place and why do I feel like it's in Philly why am I doing these predictions? On YouTube, I heard a bunch of things and paid attention to a lot of people and how they talk. And second 9-11 will happen after 911 days on YouTube. Well, it didn't happen right after that and it still hasn't happened. But it could just be the sign of Jonah where it'll never happen. Whatever happened to Jonah anyway, he waited outside of the city to see what would happen. Where did he where did where did Jonah go? So Jonah is miraculously saved by being swallowed up by a large fish in whose belly he spent three days and three nights. 
and as you take a year for a day. While in the great fish, Jonah prays to God in his affliction and vomits, I mean, uh, he gets vomited out, his affliction and commits to giving thanks and to paying what he has vowed. So he's going to pay what he has vowed. God then commands the fish to vomit Jonah out. So this is an interesting saying. Many others believe that Jonah being in the belly of the fish, or many others believe that Jonah being in the belly of the fish is simply a type of Lord Jesus being in the tomb. They believe Jonah did not die, just like Christ didn't. But according to Jonah, chapter 2, he prayed the entire time he was in the fish's belly. But why was Jonah mad that the city wasn't destroyed, Nineveh? And the worm come in. Jonah is depressed and miserable due to the fact that the city would not be destroyed. He had prophesied doom and destruction in the name of the Lord, but due to repentance it wasn't going to happen. Jonah is mad at the Lord, so the Lord tried to teach him. I see. So these are several reasons for Jonah's desire to see Nineveh destroyed. First, Nineveh was the capital city of Assyria, a ruthless and warlike people who were enemies of Israel. Nineveh's destruction would have Nineveh's destruction would have been seen as a victory for Israel. So Nineveh, their destruction would have been seen as a victory for Israel. I would just assume Jonah wanted a certain group of people to be destroyed as if their spirit, to destroy that spirit and get rid of it in the people. Not an actual uh, destruction of a city, like a second 9-11, nothing like that. More like a a destroying a group of people. So why was Jonah angry at the repentance of the Syrians? The prophet was angry at their repentance because he would rather see them destroyed. There are several possible reasons for Jonah's desire to see Nineveh destroyed. First, Nineveh was the capital of Assyria, of ruthless and warlike people who were enemies of Israel. And it repeats the same thing. But he was angry at their repentance because he would rather see them destroyed. When I feel like today and being angry three years ago, that would make sense. Because you were looking for a group of people to be destroyed back then and they weren't. Nothing happened. There was no actual destruction anywhere. And it just continued on. And then from that point on, they started to... Uh, believe more the actual people themselves that are above them and then fast forward at 1335 days then you come up with something like but you got 70 years that are determined but is it a blessing to wait till the 1335th day but well, that's on Saturday, January 8th, 2022. So I said this New Year's Eve. The very latest second 9-11 prediction would be on the very last day. That is it. Tomorrow. This is 17th and JFK. It's Chase Bank. If nothing else, this is a closeout video for the amount of times I predicted a second 9-11 being here in Philly for the past three and some change years almost, this is the closeout, the final 1,335th day. And then, because I already made this video, I want to explain why I seen more even after the last video that I made on New Year's Eve. So Chase Bank here has that look to it where it's the same rectangular 
green, because this building is green. There's green windows. So it has that rectangular look and the roundness to it. The roundness, the rectangular windows, and then that little area right there, which has that style to it. $50 bill. I have in mind, I'm summing up this, how I thought of this, with the possibility that it still could happen. And this would be my explanation video as to how I, how I figured that part out before it takes place. And then I go back and show you how I figured it out. I prefer to, to make it one last time and to show you how I knew if it took place. And if it doesn't take place on the 8th of January, which is the 1,335th day and the 70th year anniversary, Israel become a nation again, it's because in 70 AD, uh, there was destruction. And the nation of Israel, well, no, in 70, 1948, they became a nation again. But in 70 AD, they were destroyed. Fast forward 1,335 days later, it's another, some, it's like someone got set in to be in charge on the 70th year, and they have 1,335 days until the next person comes in seat, however that goes behind the scenes. So two times I, I walked by here because I thought that Again, I predicted a second 9-11 would happen. So for some reason, I didn't watch the video. I'm saying, I'm expecting my YouTube channel to get shut down tomorrow, July 8th, 2020. And terrorist attacks, the second 9-11, that didn't happen. However, so on the day that, you know, I think my channel's gonna get shut down at six in the morning, Oh, I know why. Because I was saying, I was saying my channel will get shut down and then watch uh, five minutes beforehand, there would be a bombing or it gets shut down before 8.48 a.m. That way I can't record it and upload it to YouTube to show you that I was there. Uh, but no bombing happened on this day, however, on July 8th, 2020, the first time all year. So as you can see, there's no water running over there at Chops. There's no water whatsoever. There was no water running all year long, all year long. So I walk to 17th and JFK, where I think there's gonna be a bombing at 8.48 a.m. And before that, I went to the Rocky Art, the art Museum at 5.55 a.m., uh, thinking that that would, might get destroyed. So I was just there to, because I didn't want to see it get destroyed. So I was there. And or I wasn't afraid to be there if something did happen. So I thought, well, maybe uh, if something does take place, then I'll be there to record it. So right there, no water's running at all. It's 16 seconds in. Giving it a landmark. It's 8.45 a.m. So I'm telling you the time. July 8th, 2020. Forty five a.m. July 8th, 2020. There's that building that to me it looks That's like a bag of $50 bill. 30 seconds. Third floor. There's a bombing. And it is Route 3 as well, so the third floor bombing, as you see on the back of a $50 bill. The smoke, that's a bombing, slash missile, rocket, stars fall from heaven, airplane. Uh, and then yesterday I heard something about a, a Russian rocket flying through the sky. I thought, man, that might just be the ticket to the excuse that they'll use 
where it, fi it finally lands somewhere. I don't know what happened to it. I think it burned out. Nothing took place. But it's a it's a it's a setting the stage for a certain city to get hit because Russia. And but again, it was only on social media, which means it was only on social media. I didn't hear anything on the regular news. When things like that take place, they keep it separated. And uh, but when you see smoke like that in a fifty dollar bill. And however, for whatever reason, I I wind up getting led by the spirit into at 17th and JFK. So that's the bottom line. If nothing else, if people can't understand anything else other than why I harp on this so much, 555. So 555, when you fold it, is what you see also. I was led in that direction on that exact day and for what it's worth here's what you've seen for the first time all year 17 to JFK Don't up you That building inside of there it has like a like a holographic wall Pretty real. So right there. All of a sudden water sprouts up out of nowhere. It's like a desert, kind of a dry water. Water. It it has sixty-nine holes. So when you look at it from the sky. When you go over here and look at it from the sky, which is right across the street from the bank, that looks like there's a bombing. If nothing else, what I'm saying is, on that day I was led there. So there's 69. And then just like on Christmas of last year, 2020, between the 6th and the ninth hour, and I sat down the day before explaining what I feel like is going to happen tomorrow on Christmas. I'm not going to go back to the videos and show them all, but I have all of them to show uh, the similarities of playing horseshoes with my predictions. I feel like it's fun, and I don't care if people judge me for it or not because they have many, many times, but I, I don't stop doing whatever it is I feel like I need to do, and uh, and it helps me to not care about what people's negative thoughts are and for them not to dictate what I'm going to talk about or what I'm going to show. So I've already proven that part, but when I got here uh, it was it was two minutes before two minutes before 8.48 a.m. and I'm saying that there's no bombing but then when you look up 8.46 a.m., or you just look up 8.46, George Floyd was, it took 8 minutes and 46 seconds for the death that we, that we saw on TV, that they said that, uh, that timing. The first 9-11 attack. 2001, Flight 11 hit at 8.46 a.m. and George Floyd was pinned with a knee for 8 minutes and 46 seconds. Oh, okay, so she just said both of them for me. I didn't know that they did that. Because they did that on a video recently. So the timing of 846 in the world, it's a connection to a, to a, a, a number that two major world-dominating news broadcasts happened. One of them was 9-11 at first. And then George Floyd, which dominated the news, it stirred up a lot of tension all over the planet. And and it's the timing of that. So when I go and look at the timing of that being at 846, because I'm saying it's 840, I'm saying right here, it's 845.
30 seconds in. July 8th, 2020. And then right at 1.30. So, so there you go, at 8.46 a.m. for the first time all year, as I walk by and within one minute and 30 seconds, some, some kind of action takes place that I seen, that I recorded, and I'm showing people, look, I don't have a remote. I don't have a switch. Somebody does. And, and that was turned on by AI. Now, is, am I communicating with AI and the people I'm communicating aren't even real people and are all robots? Who knows? One way or another, something was leading me down here, the spirit that, that I figure things out with led me in this direction on this day at this time, and so where, well, whatever, what does that mean? So what, water came out of the dry desert ground? Well, because I was talking about Jonathan Cleck and how he was gonna jump in a desert, his LZ landing zone, and for those that don't know, because if, if the second 9-11 actually took place on January 8th, 2022, then everybody is watching this video and for the for the near future, uh, I would like for you to know who that person is. But I can't prove that anybody actually exists because names are made up. Names are made up. Even even Bruce is made up name. So you can't really say anybody that you know. It's just look the social media. Uh, this is what. This is what I've communicated with for the first time in my life with people other than face to face. I, you know, this is a new thing. I, I've never communicated with people unless I've seen them face to face. I did MySpace for a couple months back in 2008 and nothing. And then I didn't do social media. Up until I got tired of Obama interrupting my sports games, the Eagles and, and the Sixers. And then just turned me off to watching sports. I, I didn't feel like watching anymore. I predicted the Eagles would win the Super Bowl and come from behind at the end of the fourth quarter and win. And they did. And I did a video about it beforehand saying what I said. And it, so that happened. And then from that point on, I realized it's all a script. I, I just became, I was disappointed. Even though they won the Super Bowl... I didn't care, and then I didn't watch another game since then, uh, except for I think when I went to go eat that they had it on if they were, and I was trying to watch. I don't remember. Barely any at all, and I dove in to the YouTube platform. So this is my explanation for the year 2022. Obviously, I'm turning a page, even if other people aren't. If the world doesn't change, because that's what I'm waiting on, then I just have to go about my business again. But if that actually took place, the second 9-11, because the first time around, it's like the, the sign of Jonah warning people to repent because you're being sent by a spirit that's showing you stuff, and nobody knows but you and the spirit and then you show what you know and what they know behind the scenes that you're already doing is way more than what I know. So what they see behind the scenes, the people in charge, with what I'm showing them is teaching me that I'm on the right track with communicating to the spirit that runs this planet. I didn't do that. Fountains of water. Because I remember the stage name of Jonathan Click on YouTube was talking about skydiving beforehand. And it's like he, was, he didn't give a, a time or anything or a place. So I figured I'd show him where. And I went there. And then that took place on that day. And then from that day on... July 8th, 2020, one year and six months. 
So I heard in the Bible, Paul was, he was at a certain place for a year and a half, and in another place for, I think, three years. And then, and, you know, eventually in the end, he got beheaded. And that was, people are supposed to believe that he actually got his head cut off because of the way the Bible has been interpreted to put you in fear. That way, if you think that you want to worship God like a spirit, well, you're going to die. So what I was showing whoever would watch is that there's a spirit driving me in this direction. Even if it's the spirit of Satan that's trying to lure me into a direction, well, that's not the only spirit that I'm talking about. There's two different spirits that leads my direction. Satan and God. So, which one do you go with? And, but I'm trying to get, it's not that I despise Satan. I just despise what people do as they are offered to do dirty deeds for Satan. Uh, it's free will. You know, you're not supposed to judge people when they're doing the right thing. But when they're not, then you have a right to do that. So it's just, if you can communicate with both sides and call it a uh, truce, because what you have to do is expose what Satan is doing. Expose it. Just show it. Or at least show that you're talking to that spirit that runs the planet, whoever it is. But well, that just turned on now, obviously. And then that that uh, scene, that scenario reminded me of this. Be dry? In a personal desert place? God is ready and willing to pour out streams, springs, and rivers of life-giving spiritual water on your parched soul. Deuteronomy 8 verse 7, For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land with streams and pools of water, with springs flowing in the valleys and hills. 7, 8, 8, 7. I didn't even know that until I just seen it. July 8th. Pools of water. Out of the dry desert ground. So one more time, just so you see, again, there's no water there. i got to kind of drive this home because I know how my mind thinks. I'll hear it once, like, I know. you hear it again, it's, well, 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 yeah, I mean, interesting timing, that is, nothing's there. Who are you, Robin? Nobody. People think I'm the weirdest freaking dude alive. Sometimes I feel that way, but it's all good. 45 a.m. As soon as I announce the time, exactly one minute later. For the first time all year. It's pretty real. That I'm aware of. Every single time that I went down to Philly. Because I went down to Philly a lot. I used up a lot of my boss's time. I did. I repented for that. But I experienced a lot going down to Philly, checking things out, and I had seen no water anywhere throughout the whole desert. This desert that has 12 trees and one tree is chopped down, so there's only 11 people that are there. Initiated, implemented by Hitler. See the V, the VW? It's two intersecting V's making an X. See it right there? V, V in red, V in yellow, X in the middle. Volkswagen, people of the earth. Uh, the same thing, and it's a mad, 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 mad world. And movie from when I was a kid, the Trees. greatest treasure is, is buried on this map. And it's right where these two V's meet, right under the X. There's the treasure. There's 11 people. One, two, three, four. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven people. It's eleven people. People, same as a hindecogram. I mean, you just can't make this stuff up, guys. So anyway. So, uh, so when you saw it, so what you're saying, you can't make this stuff up. That you were looking at at the same videos yeah. that I showed. can't even make this stuff up. Where those three, and then Derek Bros. You know, like I said, the on record who Derek Bros is on record on YouTube that I've come across is on record is known as a senior vice president of Paramount Pictures. And why I was on his show has nothing to do with being an actor, uh, not being a Bible scholar whatsoever. The reason why I'm on there is because Derek appreciates my mind as to the way I think and also Walmart partnerships. Today, I even started off falling backwards. Going. This is back in November 4th, and 2017. We're going to spot security guards. And in Walmart, this video is at 3 million views, and that's how I got people's attention by going in there spotting security guards. And Derek knows as well as I do that everybody I pointed out. I'm just not sure which one to get there, honey bun. It, whether it's the red one or or the black one. So they swarmed me, all three of them. This is the best part, right here. Because he's not really even looking at anything besides just being right near me. And I know how that thing works now, even more today with another corporation that's involved. Uh, but because, get there, pal, huh? because I've been a criminal most of my life, I, I know what it feels like to be followed around by a security guard. Now, my wife is the one that came up with the idea of maybe we should do a series or something and spot security guards. I'm like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. That was a damn good idea. Not only this video. They're like all cloud. But this one as well. So this is me and my wife. And on this one, I was. I was waiting. I mean, I'm waiting on the world to change. And this one got 377,000 views. So November 4th, 3 million. November 10th, four, almost 400,000. I've never done social media before. This was my 72nd day since I started YouTube on April 2nd, 2017. And I go to Walmart and I spot security guards by myself, get that many views. And then me and my wife go in, I record this one, same thing. And then me and my, my brother, my uh, nephew. They all go. <laughs> oh, man. Come up, two of them. Come up, two of them. Coming over here? <laughs> All a pair of these and maybe we'll three of those. Yeah, hey, you got the devil's hand. <laughs> My brother is so man, he thought I was weird. December second, two thousand seventeen. That one got one hundred and twenty three thousand views. And then the red. Me and my wife again. Yeah, seventy thousand views. So she was right. It was it was something. Only the most obvious, persistent security guards. 
And of course, in the comment section, you'll see people, well, not so much me and my wife, but let's get to that. I don't want to see anyone to see what you look like anyway. I can't stop laughing. Yeah, it may, I made people laugh, so they appreciate it, even if they're laughing at me, thinking, oh, he just thinks everybody's a security guard. Yeah. I mean, I may be right. I may be wrong. I'm sorry. I may be wrong. But I doubt it. I doubt it. And I think Derek doubts it as well. Film industry. I mean, am I in the Truman Show? Is that why? Is that why? Is this like a post-production after the warning of Jonah to for the nation to repent and then they all repented and then it's like 1,335 days later when everybody thinks that they're getting ready to take over and rule and evil and kill literally everybody then the second 9-11 takes place because it's only like I said nobody's dying just like I said in the Christmas bombing I said nobody's nobody's dying in it and if the buildings blow up meaning second 9-11 then you would know the same thing and then nobody dies the next day the bombing takes place in Nashville. I have the video to prove what I said beforehand. Uh, and that's why I'm talking. That's why I was on Derek's show for three weeks in a row. And he has, you got a ton of subscribers. And when you do a live show, when you do a live show like this one, or even the one that I was on, you, you don't get any more ridiculous than that. Whoever there's right it's ridiculous the way that the timing is on things and so down here you would have you know you got like a thousand people in the in the in the chat sometimes and when Derek put up for people to call in I'm just one of one of 83,700 subscribers that called in and the first time I've really enjoyed having every one of you guys on really and um, being here. <laughs> I'm thankful for I'll you trying to work it out for starting time. 40 years yeah, ago it's hard to have a conversation with a seven second delay yeah I can yeah that's so whatever's <laughs> happening so the first time that I showed up on Derek's show I had a seven second delay and it was uncomfortable because I couldn't talk. I wanted to say things, but I, I can't intervene seven seconds later. And, uh, and that was one of the most uncomfortable things I've ever had to go through. Uh, you could see in my eyes and just, you know. But I dealt with it, and I appreciated that Derek even brought me on, considering that I don't, I'm, this was about met the metaverse and what you can do in it. I only had those glasses on one time. My son had them, he bought them, and I was in a lion's den, so I explained that that's what I was in to Derek. But at the very beginning of the show, on December 5th, 2021, with the call-in show, Derek has one, two, three people on. So he has three people on. The, the, there's thousands of people watching the video and scripture <laughs> scripture and thoughts my name's tyler hey, Derek. so hey. what are your uh, tyler i'm just going to ask you first what are your thoughts on on this thus far oh i'm just uh i, 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 I feel, feel the presence of of the holy spirit just around everywhere um uh so I, i'm the fourth person that appears on derek's show at the very beginning the first the uh the first call, well he did a call and show before that the week before and you invited me then through text message but uh, i was going to wait for everybody to get on and then talk at the end but then the link went away and i and i was also taken back like uh, really oh well uh huh <laughs> Oh no, that's scary, 
because it is. It's scary. And but I went through it because it doesn't matter if it's scary. I just need to let you know. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, uh, I can I you think, hear me? Yeah, Robin. So what do you what do you think of all this? Robin's a great guy. He's got a wonderful channel called Robin's Hood. Um, I've met him. We've spoken a couple times. Uh, we yeah. we haven't always agreed, but that's perfectly fine. And that's um, I'm happy to have Robin on. How are you, Robin? Can you hear me? So I had I had, so that's what I had to say. Good. How are you? Thanks for having me on, Derek. And hear you. The, the the time frame is different. Got it. Where they put. So I kept hearing myself. He had to put me in a lion's den. So I'm walking around with all these lions and I'm staying with these lions getting ready to attack me. So I told him that it's getting me prepared to be attacked by the lions. Mm -hmm. So there you go. My first appearance. So my first appearance, it's about metaverse, omniverse. It's far more than you think. Its origins are our an ancient origins to the current simulation that we live. The apple in the garden will be offered again. So this apple in the garden that's offered again, uh, well, that's why my rendition of leaving the world as the Truman Show is I know what is offered throughout these four and a half years of paying attention to what's being taught. And then when I, when I see this from the sky, and then the many, many things that this represents, all you gotta do is just look at it just like that and you know exactly what it is. And for those that don't know, like let's say that second 9-11 took place on January 8th and people are all still watching because you're wondering how I figured it out uh, and, and if not that's just the last prediction I'm ever making but you're looking at this and you see well that's quite unusual I didn't know that the Philadelphia Art Museum parking lot uh, was that and then you see all types of other things that relate and then through listening and paying attention and following the Jonathan Kleck channel on YouTube, I've learned a hell of a lot more about what all this actually is. And then, did you know that it became a snake? A serpent rising from the sea? People that live in Philadelphia, did you know that? I didn't know it either. But now you can see it. It's a serpent. The serpent race. Rising from the sea. And then as Jonathan Clark was just saying, the 11 people, this is the Garden of Eden represent, representation. There's 12 trees. One of them's chopped down, as you can see it now. It was up, it was chopped down, but now it's uprooted. And, and uh, I believe there may be another tree planted. And this is, a, this is like a tomb. Like the tomb is empty uh, or... Lazarus rises from the dead. He's in a tomb. But this is like being chopped down. King Nebuchadnezzar was, he was chopped down. He was cut down. He represented that tree. It, it represents the eyeball, the all seeing eye, and the three unclean frogs, because there's three frogs here, and there's three sea creatures. And just like Jesus and uh, Desmus and Dismiss and Gestus, the two thieves on each side of the cross, one on his left, one on his right. Then and it is the target. It's the actual target itself. The buried hid, hidden treasure. What what's underneath of there? I bet you there's like a headquarter of those three that are under there but that's the target and then it's three 
bullseyes too because if you throw three darts three bullseyes and that's the dead center these are lights I believe they're lights and this is the water itself that comes up out so the three lights and then the water transmutation circle so because I understand the, the host body system what that has to offer the metaverse what that has to offer I I say no thanks on all of it and and I'm just gonna move on about my life go about my business and just go back to work and earn a living thanks but no thanks and I appreciate being on the show any of it is I don't really think that and any again, of it is actually from like the perception how people say who God is a, just a spirit in the sky the I think it's all man made every last bit of it no question about it and and my my daughter and then, so that was on 12-12-2021. And then the same thing with this is, uh, blessed is he who waits the 1,335th day. Daughter is calling me here. My youngest daughter is calling me while I'm doing the show. And so you, you, can see, you can see her there. She's calling me on FaceTime. So I'm like, I'm just going to show. That's my youngest daughter right there. That's Mia. Hi. <laughs> so I'm, I've got to hang up with her because I'm, I'm in the middle of the show, baby. I'll call you, I'll call you after. <laughs> <laughs> 12, 12. I just wanted to pick pick it up because she'd appreciate that I brought her on. Um, so uh, so when you saw it's a, so what you're saying you can't make this stuff up that you were looking at at the same the mad 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 world and movie from when I was a kid. The greatest treasure is is buried on this map and it's right where these TVs meet right under the X. There's the treasure. There's eleven people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven people. Same as a hindecagram. I mean, you just can't make this stuff up, guys. So anyway. And then And then one more time. As you know. I don't like I might have a few notes or whatever, but Summer I don't have a I don't have a script, so I don't really it's hard to be prepared uh, when you talk about these things. But in order to just hop on and speak my mind about whatever it is, um, I'd like to thank you for doing that, especially. over. So. To sum up my YouTube career from the beginning of it. Hopping on, not knowing one person on social media at all. From this day on, uploaded my first video with Bowie, with the bow, and 1,708 days it took me to get to a channel that I felt like I was going to be on regardless nine months ago because I felt like the channel called Derek, uh, Global Witness, Derek Burroughs, to me, would be the most important channel to just make an appearance and hang out with. I would love to be on that show. And others too, but the most influential when it pertains to the people inside of this matrix that I hopped into voluntarily. See, I, now I'll just take it as he would like to do a live show because I was talking about him showing up on the show live. But that's March 15th, 2021. With absolutely no proof, it was even better that I showed up on his show uh, because there's, there's more exposure and it was a better feeling to be able to... That's just me, like, you know, my delusional state of mind that nobody's really paying attention to my channel. I just act like they are. But Robin, you and back then it was nine months from that point on. It's like a birthing like a 
I put a, a thought out there out loud, planted a seed, and then nine months later, it birthed into reality that it actually took place. For me, it's a big deal because, again, I don't know anybody from the beginning, and, and then all of a sudden, I'm on somebody's show three weeks in a row that on record and I'm not an actor was at one point a senior vice president of Paramount Pictures so from the t time I said that it took exactly 266 days for that to actually come true eight months and 21 days because of something that I thought I just thought Derek would be the kind of person that I just feel like he would he would let me hop on his show because he commented on my channel a few years back I, I said I had his back because I I seen him getting attacked by people and I can't stand that but at times I've judged people too and attacked them and I can't stand that about me so those are the things that I've that I've worked on changing and so it happened so and then three weeks in a row and so his channel started December 31st 2017 my very first video upload was with Bowie April 2nd 2017 so from the time I started my channel, from the time Derek on record started his channel, was 274 days. I joined August 24, 2013, just so I can learn how to make fiberglass hoods. Uh, before YouTube, I was sanding this exact hood right here because I had already made a mold in the beginning, this is the original hood that I learned how to make by creating it. My son created my YouTube channel, and then I learned how to make the, the you know the combination of mixing fiberglass and being able to uh, form stuff. That was the reason why I even hopped on YouTube in the first place was to learn something. I mean, YouTube is a great place to learn. If you try to speak the truth and, it, and reveal things on the planet, well, you'll get harassed, attacked, and gang stalked. And they'll make it known it, because they'll, they'll show you that they can, they can uh, do that in real life. But this is what I was doing before I hopped on YouTube. And I searched to learn something, and then I was able to create this you know, I called it a jet fighter. I sold two of them on, on uh, my eBay store, $1,250. I sold one to some guy in Texas. Pro could have been Click. I mean, who knows? Uh, and then someone in Canada. And then the person in Canada actually sent money to pay for the hood for me to, for me to make, buy the material. And then I made it, and I sent it to him. And then he said it was damaging. I, you know, whatever. Who knows? But he had it on his truck. It was a, a white... Dodge Ram, no cab on the back, and it looked damn cool. And it was uh, like a 2009. And then the other guy in Texas, he had a 97. I wish I had a picture of it, but I don't know, somewhere. He had a 97, and that looked pretty damn tough too on that one. And I sold two of them. So I was working on getting it in the process. It, it's like, look, it worked. I learned something from YouTube. I bought the material. I figured it out. I molded it. I made another one. I, I sold it on my eBay store. I shipped. I actually shipped it out. The guy got. He put it on his car. He sent me pictures. He was happy with it in Texas. And then the other one in Canada was a big ordeal. And I, I, I you know, I, uh, it didn't go well. But I did get my money for selling the hood, and he got his hood. Because I don't know. Maybe it was my fault. Bubbles appeared, who knows, but he didn't uh, really prove that it was damaged for because of me. 
So anyway, that's what I did before I hopped on YouTube. And and then, uh, I mean, I learned, I tried to learn how to make it. And in my first video was April 2nd, 2017, four years later, was when I finally started to say something. Five million and a half views out of the straight thin air, just acting... Well, this was a caught red-handed fire images. Uh, so out of nowhere, from the very beginning, and then appearing into this platform with millions of views, just acting like a fool in Walmart, spotting security guards, which goes back to, it's exactly what I did. I pointed them all out. Those people that have honey bun. It... Those people that have uh, where's that connections with like Walmart partnerships would know. Yep. He was dead on. He was dead on. We need to uh we need to kinda see what this guy's doing from this point on. November thirtieth, twenty eighteen. So one year later one year later date and let you know that uh everybody is safe and everybody is doing well. And um and also it's it's amazing hearing witness. from everybody today. I got your back. And then I didn't even know until a couple years later that you actually watched the video and commented. You loved it at first, but afterwards I was playing it out. But the seventh trumpet is about to blow. I don't understand the whole video. That the lip sync is annoying. Well, whatever. It got Derek's attention, apparently. And he's one of the reasons. It got Derek's attention, apparently he's one of the reasons I started this YouTube journey. He's one of the reasons. I responded back 11, just 11 months ago. I realized after, you know, I think that's what did it. Yeah, that is what did it. This entire last year, was the most eye-opening in my entire life realization of things. Three years ago, commenting on my channel, a Hollywood producer, uh, according to what's on record, produced Jerry Maguire, Gooding Jr.'s personal manager. He, he won an award, a Academy Award. And so your comment on my channel after a year because of the Walmart video? Hey Derek, sorry it took so long to respond. I was pretty busy trying to find out who runs this planet so I can tell them that our father said it would take place on this earth. Thanks for helping me get this message to the ends of the earth. Now the world can end. See in the new heavens and new earth, the new heavens and new earth is right here on this planet in the spirit so i'll see you there there's also a metaverse new earth and new heaven where is that that is that is this right here and that is the offer that is the apple in the garden that will be offered again. I say no thanks. I know what it is. I know it's offered. I know I can say, hey, Derek, you know what? I'll, I'll take it. I'll do it. I know I can do that. I know I can say it. And, uh, and so do you. But that's why I exit stage left towards the world. 
I'm not going to get off of YouTube and never talk again. No, not unless if I absolutely physically can't and I'm dead. I just needed to re reset. Take some time to think about it. Take some time off because after all, I started four years ago, four and a half years. Now I'm not going to go through all of it because it'll take it'll take a straight hour just to go through every video because it takes time for this thing to go through. It would take me about an hour to get to all the videos that I did five months ago, six months ago, seven months ago. I got shut down for a week. I didn't get shut down for a week because I had videos prepared that were already sitting in private, ready to upload. It did, they did it again to me. I was prepared. I stayed up even when I had, even when I was punished. I wasn't supposed to be up twice, two weeks, and twice. I was up every single day because I said, click the link below. What I did was I uploaded one of the videos that were on private that had no views. Hey, Robin. Because it was me being me and then me being Robin over there and Henry. And so I just said, click the link below. That way you can get the video that I made. All right, so my channel <laughs> you think just so? got a strike. And this is the time period where it'll say something like this. This is where this began back on June 3rd, 2021. So I was prepared for the strikes to stay up, to defy what the rules are. Uh, not actually defy the rules, but to show you that there's a loophole around the rules. And you can still upload videos if you want to. So I continually wanted to upload videos and not stop. No problem. But if I go down, I'm just showing you my dedication for free. I did monetize the Walmart video, but not until after about 2 million views. I wind up getting about total 2,500 hours altogether. Then they stopped monetizing it. I filed for monetization again. They'll get back to me about it. I, but I was getting about $250 a week. I felt good about that. I, I, I enjoyed that. I really appreciated it. Some of you guys get hundreds of thousands of dollars a year for being on YouTube because Satan is your boss. I'm not looking for Satan to be my boss. I'm not looking to be Satan's boss. Second 9-11, Donald Trump. But this feels like it goes on forever. And... That's how I got uh, to learn how to continually do things consistently. Even though I've made all these predictions, second 9-11, see that there? 223, 2020, two years ago. Major earthquake never happened, even though it happened behind the scenes. Like when you hop on someone's show three weeks in a row, you have these major earthquakes. And so I gave some entertainment as much as I could. And I'm thankful that our government has allowed us the opportunity to protect ourselves. The man they're talking about is now speaking out after springing into action. I don't see myself as a hero. I see myself as doing what needed to be done. To I take would say that's John Clegg behind the mask. But... At that point, I didn't have a clear shot because people were standing up. Finally got a, about a second later, had a clear shot. And I took the shot. The shooter went down. Since when do... But then again, the mouth kind of moves like a robot. You know when something bad's going to happen. You have to be prepared at all times, at all places. And that's the way that I strive. That's the way I teach. 
Texas church security hero speaks out after six seconds. Six shots, six officers. I was at the Philly shootings. Predicted six officers and people I shot. don't see myself as a hero. At that point, I need to take out the evil. I had a clear shot because people were staying in the final about a second later. I took a, another shot and the shooter went down. This freaking idiot. Well, since when do you know when something bad's gonna happen around here? <laughs> Y'all gotta be prepared at all times. Two years ago. New Year's Is that Eve. it? All right. Where to next? Are we going to Philly yet? Not yet? Okay. All right, guys. So, I'm waiting on Philly because that's just what I've been shown. And I've been shown that because the bye will be in played out and Philadelphia will have a little bit of strength, the Church of Philadelphia, they played us these things out literally. Now, three and a half years ago, they got the sign of Jonah and they repented. And then so three and a half, so Jonah was pissed and I was pretty mad back then too because nothing ever happened. I'm tired of, nothing's changed. I'm waiting on the world to change. It, it's not changing. And then later on down the line, because there are only buildings and nobody actually dies, literally, people may be sacrificed. They may sacrifice themselves. There are people that they may die. They may sacrifice the tree of life and rearrange it inside because when you rearrange it inside it goes like that and then it's sealed up and there's a mechanism that's kind of like AI mixture inside of your body and this is the part of the Bible where it talks about they'll be lovers of themselves because this as you can see what that looks like coming straight out of there with these two over here to become one and it just looks like a just looks like a, a mechanism it has a, a pole like a pole through there in all likelihood some kind of suction cup And what I say to that is no thanks. That's me stepping out of the world like Truman did, stage left. I know what there is to offer. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. It's, it's not that important to me. It just ain't. You know when something bad's going to happen. You have to all the times. Is that it? All right. Where to next? Are we going to Philly yet? Not yet? Okay. All right, guys. So there I am, sitting next to Derek Burroughs on his YouTube channel, talking about the metaverse. More, knowing, I, I know more about it now because of the topic. I, never real, I didn't really look into it whatsoever until I went on your show for the first time, and I'm thinking, oh, okay, well, let me look into what this is. In the metaverse, there's places for people to go. And here's here's what the uh here's what I believe the what what they can lure you into is this is a person as you can see it's it's like female, her eyes, hair, hair like a woman. has like the leg up and over here like that and then the other leg over there maybe the hands like dancing up in the air but it's also a serpent rising the beast rising from the sea which is amazing that the landscape can do that and then in the mouth of the serpent is the re is the male female reproductive system so this is like a female male turned into female and an unusual sidewalk 
is the it's the same thing. Saint Peter, Saint Peter's altar. This is the true altar to Saint Peter's down by the Jordan River. Because beyond the Jordan is, I think it's uh, Bethany is beyond there, and that's the new female male invert. The idea is that get you into an isolated place. That mechanism is inside of your body. And AI is mixed mixed in with it. There's only one one way out. And it's a dead sheep system because even even the landscape by people walking look like i again blown away at simple things from the sky that you see when you look up and it's a de it's a dead sheep so what is a sheep sheep is god's angels what are god's angels spark of life what's the spark of life well it comes from the two when you lift everything up inside of your body, then you got those two up there, up high, two become one. This, the spark goes here, and but because it shoots the uh, the 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 plug is it's shot all the way over here. which is called the giant three-way plug. The giant three-way plug is the spark of life. Three ways, there's three ways. Three different ways of the system, three different outlets there. You see? And then, and then there. But there's also three ways and three swan creatures. There's three of them. And two of them are male. So this is, I mean, a female. Female here and female there. This one is pointing towards the Philadelphia Art Museum. This is a male. He's the one that is catching all the fish. They have these swans and water shoots out of the swan. And so this one is facing down in, in the down in this direction, which is the male female system, which would be the first eight. This eight is down in that direction. Then the next eight that he is facing in, because this is the male, the one catching the fish. Well, that one goes, he's looking at this direction here. And look at that, it's an eight. Not only is it an 8, but it's a 1-8. It's 18, but it's also January 8th. You see? January 8th. 1-8. You look at this, but that looks like 156. It also looks like 951. 86. I forget what Clegg was talking about, but for regular people that are still trying to figure out what I'm talking about, it's it's all they're all ones. What are you talking about? It's nothing. Yeah, but it's something. Because there's the second eight. Then 
the other female is pointing in this direction, which is like the vicinity of whatever's over in this area and between there and there. So what's between there and there in Philadelphia? Well, it's, a, it's, that, it's that place where the first time, 7, 8, 20, 20, water sprouted up out of the dry desert ground, out of nowhere. Sixteen twenty-eight in Gematria is a wounded head, and so here's the other eight. Not only is this eight once, but it's eight twice, and it's eight again. Three eights. Three eights. Gematria. Three eights. Holy Son of God, Lord Christ, math, math, math algorithm, Henry, Latin for Lord Christ, Lord Christ's second coming, absolutely, Jonathan Click. So, Jonathan Click is the connection that I have in Philadelphia with all of these coincidences that take place, and because of the host body system terrorist strike that I've been saying at that building for many many years well a couple years holy double eight holy double eight because double eight is right there as well he of many or orgasms well when you look at the host body system I'll come back to 17th and JF JFK in a minute and go over what happened on October 20th, 20, 20, or October 21st, 2021, when it pertains to water stopping and then rising back up again. But he of many orgasms would be, this is inside, it's sealed up, it's one way out, it still is hidden, people thought you're an alien. Because when you look down, it's a wall. But really what's going on inside is this, that, and combine that. Now think about the what what is offered. Think about what what I'm turning down. The metaverse, you put that on your head, and then it becomes just like the internet where the attraction to go onto the internet, and I've got caught into it as well, is porn. Porn. It draws you in. So, knowing the technology and the metaverse, and just by that little example that I had, standing there in a lion's den, with porn and the reality of even inserting the, the part that can get you to actually feel things and, and believe like eating steak and you taste it, but it really isn't there. And then, oh, we can give you an upgrade. Put a G2 down and, and, and we can feed you food, keep you isolated. Uh, you'll never have children again. It's population control in, in a sense. Even if, you're a, a if you're a child, whatever, molester, or uh, you go in there and you do your thing and sin against yourself. You'll never have children because this is there and that's that. But at the same time, you can just live in an alternate reality your entire life. You're going to be comfortable because you're going to be in your own pod, just like you guys are right now in your little matrix pod. And for some of you that are just outside of the pod, but you're in the metaverse, you're watching me talk about what you're doing right now. Because this is you. This is you. I know it's you. And how do I know? I've been attacked by you and people like you through the internet. But now I found out what's inside of you. Iniquity. The abomination of desolation standing in the holy place. It stands in the holy place. 
there's a thief on the left side, a thief on the right side. Look, it's guess it look, it's it's Decimus and Gestus. And here's Christ in the middle, which is what this host body system represents. The serpent eating its own tail. And then the same thing because it's St. Peter and Paul's altar. St. Peter and Paul is right here. St. Peter and Paul Basilica. And then same thing with, with Christ, or you can say Barabbas. Barabbas and the thief. Well, depending on where he's at, this is on his left side, that's on his right side. But to the actual thief, to this thief, this thief is on his right hand. Dismas. Dismas is on his right hand. Gestus is not. Gestus is, you have to guess. You have to guess who that is. Because one thief repented on his right side, like years on back, and then fast forward like 1,335 days, then the other thief on the other side because of the sign of Jonah, repented. And then that's why, that's why I thought, well, we just may see the second 9-11 in Philadelphia because of the simple fact that these are twin towers. And it's twin tower one with the X's, the four X's on there. And also, if that comes in clear, No, you can't see it that much. Twin Towers went down, Liberty uh, Twin Tower 1 and 2, and Building 7. Liberty 1, Liberty 2 is here, and Liberty 2 is here. Now, Liberty 2 is 848 feet tall. 848 feet. Wow. According to Curb.com, Philadelphia. Pennsylvania 848 feet 2 Liberty Place was built just three years, three years. after one Liberty Place was completed, becoming completed. the second tallest building in the city. Second the 58-story tower is a mix of office and residential. 58 feet story. And Liberty, Liberty 1 has more than that. And in the Bud Light commercial with Ian, he was at a party on the 59th floor and he got defiled. But 848, Liberty 2, and then you know what happened at 848? The video clip, and then after that, if you can support the ministry, I'll show you how. But watch this. The short video clip was made today, October 20th, 2020, after the... So, on that morning... At 8.48 a.m., the reason why I went to 17th and JFK, which is Penn Center Building 8, and not only is it Penn Center Building 8, right here, it's also three eights, three of them, one, two, three, Three eights. I'm I'm right across the street. I'm right here. This is where the water went off the first time. 846. 17th JFK. It's the back of a $50 bill. That's before it became the bank. It was wine and spirits. It it this is what draw this is why I'm giving a history of why I've been there. And although no, no bombings have ever happened, something took place which was so unusual that I've never experienced before. But I'm there because I, I look on the back of the $50 bill, fold it up the way Jonathan Kleck showed on YouTube 
how the fold up dollar bills and the building the bombings on the US currency and and with with it being 555 that's why 555 is between the six like about the sixth to the ninth hour Christ crucified between the sixth and the ninth hour and the bombing that happened in Nashville I thought would happen here in Philly in between the sixth and the ninth hour as the title stated but it uh it was a bombing that happened in Nashville not in Philly so because I'm following that channel and I can't prove who anybody is but I'm following that channel and it's leading me here at 888 and then gematria which is another way of decoding what Satan is doing shows you double eights terrorist attack he can't lie to himself anymore 100% no lying this is on the internet. And Jonathan Clegg. So, what happened on that day? Here I am. I'm showing you Jonathan Clegg's video the day before. The Lord told me to drive to Camping World this morning because he had something. Camping World to me means Herald Camping because. October 21st, 2020, nine years ago, the end of the world. And I was that person that was warning people about May 21st, 2011, saying that the, the rapture's coming, the end of the world's going to be five months later. I'm writing notes to people, a one-page letter to my neighbors. I delivered them, everybody, show, told them about Harold Camping. Me and my wife handed out some papers. My son, my nep, uh, my stepson, my son. I got everybody involved. We were driving around in the, an older hoopty uh, SUV. We called it the Grandpa Mobile. It was like an older Chevy Suburban. I put some TVs in the back for my my kid and stepson. And they, we were handing out some food to the homeless in Philly. I enjoyed it. I really did. I, I I thoroughly enjoyed the year 2011. But then nothing happened, and I just went about my business and kept, kept going. But that's the connection. I'm tying everything together more than I ever have before. Everything is tied together. And Harold Camping's world. Harold Camping. This came the day after... Oh, this came 2020 after the Lord told me to drive... The short video clip was made today, October 20th, 2020, after the Lord told me to drive to Camping World this morning because he had something to show me. Camping. This came the day yeah, after something to show oh, me. This came the day after I told the general public you on YouTube. So this on YouTube. Genesis 1 Revelation. The Genesis 1 Revelation is so profound that it will change the course of the world and what was previously believed about the creation and origin of mankind. The slide minutes. show you will see following the short video clip is to prove that all the data was collected before this morning. Those folders I just got through showing you, those should be the slideshow after you're seeing this on the screen right now. But the guy that I needed to help me with the slideshow, he was not available today. So I went ahead and just pulled out through showing you, those should be the slideshow that you see coming up next, but you won't see it until he's able to produce it, which will be in the next couple days. Yeah. Meaning me, until I am able to produce what he knows I'm going to go and show, which would blew me away that Jonathan Clegg knew that I would head down there at 17th and JFK at 8:48. He had something to show me. Yeah, because so anyway, it takes a few days to get out of jail. All the data was collected. I need to type of that. All the data was collected before this morning, and the Lord sent me on an errand as to confirm the entire revelation. Okay, so what I'm doing right here is I'm giving you a little account of this morning. Because this morning the Lord sent me to Camping World. He told me, you have to go to Camping World. This morning I have something to show you. I'm like, what? Well, did you see the rapture I just showed you? Let's see, so I'm showing you Camping World. It's a penis and testicles. And the whole system is vampiric. And I'm Johnny the, I'm Johnny the vampire sunglass guy. And he also gave me paracletos today. One sent to defend another. He literally gave that to me. He sent me to Camping It's 846 
as I'm showing you Jonathan Clay, I'm showing you the reason why I'm led by the Spirit to go to 17th and JFK again at 8.48 a.m. on Harold Camping's World. Camping World this morning to show me what you're about to see in order to confirm the picture I just showed you along with That's probably a, a couple hundred other pictures. So perfect that all... time. So before, and you know, Again, someone just staring at the freaking the grass behind me two minutes before I'm thinking a bombing's gonna go off. I think he's the one that's gonna grab me if that bomb goes off. <laughs> yeah. They're not my pair of shoes because I didn't accept the pair. I actually bought my own. So I'm showing you, I'm, I'm telling you Right beforehand, why well, I'm showing you the time, it's 8.47. You'll see the water's already sprouted up, the same place. It's flowing pretty, pretty high, it's full, full blown. Again, just letting you know what time it is. Barrel Camping's World, 847, October 21st. Jonathan Clegg has something to show me right there by sudden at 8:48 a.m. the second time that I'm there at 17th and JFK across the street 8:48 the water completely stopped and stood still God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. 47. Therefore, we will not fear. Even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains... Its waters roar and are troubled. The water was the water was pretty loud. It was roaring. You know how, how loud it gets. Eight forty-seven. Mountain shake with its swelling. There is a river whose stream shall make glad the city of God. The river streams shall make glad the city of God, Philadelphia. To the angel of the church of Philadelphia, you have a little strength left. The holy place of the tabernacle of and it also has 69 holes i counted it when i was there 69 holes from the sixth to the ninth hour as well the most high god is in the midst of her she shall not be moved god shall help her just at the break of dawn the nations raged the kingdoms were moved he uttered his voice the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. God of Jacob is our refuge. Come behold the works of the Lord, who has made desolations in the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot in fire. Be still. 
know that I am God. I'll be exalted among the nations. I want to show you something. The holy place. Just kill. So he just showed Jesus right before. Ministry, I'll show you how. But watch this. Check uh, this and out. That was the host body, a uh, penis, obviously. Let's see. It's the testicles. But he shows Jesus, and then he's saying okay, it on that day. The short video clip was made today, October 20th, 2020, after the Lord told me to drive to Camping World this morning because he had something to show me. Camping. This came the day be still and know that i am god i will be exalted among the nations i will be exalted in the earth the lord of hosts is with us the god of jacob is our refuge so i want to show you something And also, on that exact same day, October 21st, 2020, Obama is in Philadelphia. And he would like to... I want to thank Mr. Philadelphia, Charlie Mack. Charlie Mack, he would like to thank Mr. Philadelphia. But he really meant to say... I want to thank Mr. Philadelphia. Because he's... Listen, my first job was at a bass. Robin. You see him operating every single day. You see him in neighborhoods of us from the truly destructive actions that his appointees are doing. Everything that was said was said on that day of October 21st, 2020, at this exact uh, inter his appearance right here so yeah i took clips from what he was saying but my name kept coming out of his mouth my first name robin my last name tease how they say it is how they were meant to say it robin's baskin robin's robin's hood robin's hood he worked at the baskin robin's and you see him in the neighborhood every single day because that's what i was doing every single day so at 8 48 a.m jonathan click wanted to show me the jonathan click channel wanted to show me 888 penn center building 8 17th jfk 3 8s on that building jonathan click is the reason why i was there the first time july 8th 2020 the second time october 21st 2021 absolutely wanted to show me that this is what is this is what is perceived as to who jonathan Clegg is in this in the system itself because this is a world script being played out and I just happened to step right in the thick of it. And I'm part of this entire thing. And nothing can stop it. But can that stop? Can I prevent a terrorist attack happening at 888 Penn Center Building 8? The address itself is 1628. So if people want to under, want to try to if you want to know how I put things together it's just not one thing it's it's everything it'll, and it'll all happen at the wink of an eye because it's Lucifer the serpent has returned Lucifer has returned the serpent 
888 also says in Gematria, Eight 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 in Gematria says Jonathan Cleck. It says Jesus Christ. It says the second coming. Sixteen twenty eight. Well, that says a different story. That says it's Lucifer, the serpent, has returned. Lucifer, the serpent, the bombing, back of a fifty dollar bill, sec starting off the second night eleven at five fifty five a.m. Why would I say 5.55 a.m.? Well, I've been saying it for a long time. And Lucifer the serpent is on his way. But I've been saying 5.55 for a long time. And 8.48. And then it just so happens that Liberty 2 is 848 feet tall. And this water stops at 8.48 a.m. The second time that I'm there walking by 8.88 1628 Gematria, the seventh day rest. That's when Elohim will rest from his labors. And a deadly wound, which would be the system itself being saved by the cross, but a deadly wound at the bank. Johnny Paycheck. Is he the greediest man in town? You may have been. You may have been. This is Yahweh. Is this Yahweh? I heard Yahweh was uh, the one that brought the serpent. Johnny Cash hurts. Oh, wacko jacko. Sideways 8. Sideways 8. Yes, John Taffer ID Satan. Sideways 8. This says go vandalize building. So why would I say 555? Well, I've said it plenty of times before. And so when you hear it again, or when you see it somewhere, message about what he meant. Or he didn't get what the irony of it. That's why it says this is the irony law. This is a, a syringe. But, uh, well, let me get to hold on. Let me let me get this out of the way. A syringe. This is this is a syringe. Also, it has the syringe look to it, like a turkey baster. But it goes down there, it has the pointed, has like the point, and it shoots an RFID chip, baby, out. After Jim Carrey the Mask is singing. RFID chip into Love Park. So Love Park is where the love is is made. And then it goes over there into the to the belly of this beast right here. See this belly? Beehive cow. It's like a cow belly. But it also has a also has a, a whale look to it. Being in the belly of the fish, like Jonah, for three days, three years. Kind of a different look 
You see the cross? Look at that. Cross. It's the first time I've seen that. It's a needle. Hypodermic needle. Right down there. Perfect. Angle. Love Park. Serpent rising from the sea. Lost on them or what? A bunch of sheep and goats forming a syringe. You you don't get any more ridiculous than that. Whoever there's You can't make that stuff up, is what you're trying to say, right there. Because the sheep and the goats, it's made up of sheep and goats. Goats on the left, sheep on the right. And it is a sheep right with it. From east to west, like lightning from east to west. 5.55 a.m. If you want to take a look at this rocket, this rocket that's going to hit, or that was supposed to, whatever it was doing yesterday, January 5th, tracking Russia rocket nuke or EMP. Well, that doesn't matter because I see 5.55 over here. 555 bill, and our internet bill is kind of crazy out here for what i need in order to accomplish this it's not cheap it's a couple hundred dollars a month so um 88 88 satellite period 88 so i'm seeing i'm seeing that and then when you re when you start the video from the beginning It starts at 6-9, 69, 6 to the ninth hour. There's 69 holes at 17th and JFK. Jacob's Ladder here, 69 holes. I believe there was 36, there was 36 water fountains sprouted up because they were social distancing from each other. Jacob's Ladder. Comcast. From the sixth to the ninth hour. I see that. And what else do I see? So that's pointing towards between the 6th and the ninth hour, it's also pointing towards between the 6th and the ninth day. The 6th and the ninth day of January. And January 8th is the 1,335th day. And it's also written in the landscape. January 1, 8, 8th. Christ was circumcised on the 8th day. 8th. Not like this. Not, not, with, not that. Circumcision. Circumcised. It's like... It's almost like being baptized. It's like an entry of... A birthing it's like a being circumcised of the heart is also a transformation is it gonna be lights out are they gonna flick the switch over here in Phil uh, Philly ten days three days I mean who knows 
all these connections are insanely perfectly connected. Right here. See where it says that error. 303. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. 237. Don't open door 237. Back on November 23rd, 2021. 237. So don't open door 237. Right there. 15 minutes and 40 seconds in. Not so only that. Let me know. Can you, uh, our, uh, but, look, the, now it says excellent condition. Look at this. Now it's back to that. excellent condition over here. So that's perfect then because excellent condition at the 1,335th day. So from the time that Israel became a nation again, May 14th, 1948, 70 years later, and then 1,335 days, January 8th. 2022 two, two, two. and today is January 6 2022 934 p.m. 1 oh good 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 oh well, let's see if that hangs we're gonna continue to try this but um the now it says excellent condition look at this now it's back I mean, to excellent condition over here. So good, good, good. Oh, well, let's see if. The so the temple was destroyed in 70 AD. This, this says destruction of the second temple. This is on the seventh day, seventh day of rest, the chief of Nebuchadnezzar's army began the destruction of Jerusalem. That was the first holy temple. 70 AD destroyed the fulfillment of Christ's prophecy concerning the destruction of the magnificent temple at Jerusalem not only reveals the year of Christ's crucifixion but also ended one phase of God's plan for the salvation of humanity and ushered in the next phase Christ to conquer and rule the earth I don't know if you can see it, but this is Jonathan Kleck's P.O. Box 91281. And that was today's video, I believe that was. You were giving out your, your P.O. Box. And, and uh, yesterday, you know, go, go to their site right here. And, um, so that's Derek Bros right here. Looks like he cut his hair if this is new. <clears throat> he had long hair. And uh, so they've done a, a tremendous amount of work. And I, I've neglected to say anything about this or to even bring it up and show it because they were very early in the stages and I wanted to see how it pans out because I've watched these communities and these plans fall to pieces before. I hope this doesn't, but that doesn't mean that I believe that this is the way to survive. Because I can tell you right now, as I've always said, there's the end of the age and the end of the ages. So I don't have any faith that, um, that, it's, that you're going to be allowed to continue this. This would be an interim measure. So for instance, let's say this rocket happened six months ago, or let's say there is a massive EMP and 10 days of darkness or 30 days, whatever. Sometime where <clears throat> something catastrophic, catastrophic, everybody knows and feels something's mm. going to happen, right? Am I? Yes, yes, I, I feel that way at the one thousand three hundred thirty fifth day. But we are twenty nine thousand one hundred eighty one individuals working together to create more liberty, liberty in our communities, liberty buildings, liberty one, liberty two. But did you catch the numbers? Did anybody catch the numbers there? Here's Liberty. Liberty Place. Catch the number? 29181. 91281. 91. Two eight one. 
Nine one two eight one. Nine one two eight one. Nine one two eight one. <laughs> This is Mike, brother. Am I, am I, do you feel that? Yeah. Do yep, you yep. see it? It's like everybody's waiting around to die right now. And that's a real feeling that people are feeling. I mean, it's, it's this crazy thing. And we are not absent from that. We feel that as well. Because obviously, if you're attached and, you know, to, to folks, and even like you, we feel what you feel. I can feel what you guys are feeling. So it's, uh, it's a very scary thing uh, that for people and for those that are in Christ, they find peace in it. And like I said, they sit there and go, well, when that asteroid comes, I'm going to sit here and watch it. Hmm. And uh, asteroid, when an asteroid comes. So as I've said in many videos before, asteroid in Philadelphia, the second 9-11, I say second 9-11, and, but I say that as Penn Center Building 8 is the target, 17th JFK, because it's the bank. It's the bank. It's lights out. Could be that 10-day period. Second 9-11, I've said before that at 5.55 a.m., the bombing goes off at 17 JFK because that's the script. And the reason it goes off is because it sets up for the clearing of the, of the way, clearing of... It's only right there. So it clears out the whole area because that's how nobody actually gets hurt. That's why nobody dies. Because they cleared it out. And then those buildings, because this is 848 feet tall, this is 945 feet tall, but 848 a.m., uh, 555 a.m., between the 6th and the 9th hour. So you got the second 911 at Penn Center Building 8. You got the second 9-11 at Penn Center Building 8. You got Jonathan Click. You got Derek Bros. Uh, but the last name Bros. Uh, you'll be able to, to pull the dirt or the remnant of that asteroid out of my eyes because I'm going to be looking at it as it hits me. Because I'm ready. Let's rock. Hmm. But with that said... This is an interim measure that could be a very, very satisfying venture for you to help others, because that's what it's all about. And not only that, learn a tremendous amount, because what this network does is that people within those groups of eight, those groups that get together with those works of eight, they all have different skill eight. sets. Somebody knows <laughs> and has a green thumb and knows how to plant outdoors yep. in the area that you're in. Another person knows electronics and knows cryptography and knows how to help set up people's devices and their computers and put them on the, the right closed peer-to-peer -peer systems. They know how to do these things. So what is it that you can contribute? Uh, do you just clean? You can only clean something? Well, that's fine too, because there's going to be a need for that. Because while other people are growing, they're going to have well, need assistance like cleaning up in the having their buildings. homes clean and their places and their laundry done, stuff like that. So everybody serves. <clears throat> So what are you going to serve and serve a community and serve a community in Christ? And so that's truly what this is. And, and honestly, the only thing missing from this Freedom Cell Network, make no mistake about it, is not religion. So this should never, ever be a religious organization, nor should it have any dogma in any way, shape or form as to what you worship. However, they should have a fundamental understanding that we are bigger than this world has told us that we are. So it should be allowing you and encouraging you to find yourself spiritually, find who you are. It should have that. And I fully understand why they're not showing that.
because that discourages people greatly. And I've <laughs> look, anybody that's uh, that's been in religion um, understands that. I just got a text from Jacob Israel, and he sent me his thumbnail, picture of his thumbnail. So he's going to be talking about, um, I believe, Getter and some images and some things. So uh, I, I won't uh, I won't be a spoiler, but um, themselves. C E L L S free dumb org. cells. Go to freedomcells.org. Check it out. Get involved. If you feel it, that's what I'm going to tell you for now. And, uh, and maybe Derek bros and I will, uh, you know what? And I'm going to see if I can get a hold of him. and it would be great to have the Derek bros, Derek bro show and have us both discuss exactly what freedom cells is. And you know, the irony of this again, not just that Moving there are two Derek Broses uh, involved uh, in that discussion, but everything is about decentralization and peer to peer. This is involved in that discussion, discuss exactly what Freedom Cells is. And you know, the irony of this again, not just that there are two Derek Broses uh, involved uh, in that discussion, but everything is about decentralization and peer to peer. And I am one of those people that. Uh, something that probably many of you don't know, but I've been involved in peer-to-peer because -peer I was uh, running Kazaa and Altnet. And if you remember the Kazaa file sharing network, which was sued and ultimately won the suit and settled a different thing. But um, I'm suing two people. The uh, Acme and ShopRite for discrimination and breaking the federal laws. They both tried to deny, they both tried to dismiss the entire case and Acme's came back they denied their dismissal oh my goodness I want to show you something they're lawyers sent like st stacks of they're convincing evidence that they should dismiss the case. So thank, thank you to those that are on the inside and are controlling the uh, outcome. Because you know damn well that my rights were violated and I earned that lawsuit. And I filed for $100,000 for Acme and $200,000 for ShopRite. See where it goes. Uh, I was uh, very involved in the peer-to-peer -peer technology, decentralized peer-to-peer. -peer. I've been decentralized peer-to-peer uh, -peer person for decades and decades. I founded the organization in Washington, D.C. that lobbies Congress to not prevent peer-to-peer -peer technology from flourishing because they were trying to shut down peer-to-peer -peer and they were trying to regulate it. And so That's I crazy. developed a group called DCIA, Distributed Computing Industry Association. DCIA. Well, that's amazing. And that became the lobbying amazing. organization. We, we have, so I, I know, know we Washington, have a little bit of DC. delay, but we heard you. I know lobbying. I know so how this, the, all this the works. So the amazing I've part about. Justified before Congress many times. I know what it is. I know the slimes that are there. Awesome. So um, Jacob doesn't know I'm live, so I'm going to tell him I'm live right now. It's <laughs> actually connected and see just in case I can convince him to do that. I'd like to hear what he thinks about this rocket. Although he's probably finished. All right, Jacob, is there... I'll tell you what I think about the rocket. I think the rocket is a test run for the second 9-11 to Philadelphia on the 1,335th day and Penn Center Building 8, the bombing on the third floor bombing slash rocket slash asteroid fallen from heaven stars fallen from heaven second 9 11 penn center building eight liberty one and two three three events between the sixth and the ninth hour on january 8th january 8th 2022 written in the landscape January 8th 
Not sure what to make of the 156 or the 951. Besides, Ray's Son of Light, Juniata, Juni, Juni, Juniata, Juniata is in Philly. My Fair Lady and Takeover, Flying Saucers. But also, between the 6th and the ninth hour, because it just has that, it has the ups, right side up, upside down look to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight ones. Lights out. Turn it around, 156. Gematria. False flag. Sophia. The Kings. There's one God. I am an alien. I need help. I feel good. Especially about the next two days. I am alone. I do this all by myself. In person. There's danger ahead. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. <clears throat> and then the light switch lights out. Either way, there's two lights here, switches. Then center building at eight, which is right over here. Not to mention that that third temple is being built. Right here at parking lot 222. Seventeenth Street. Eighteenth Street here. Eighteenth Street. Six plus six plus six. And being the third temple being built as a mirror image from the first nine eleven where Liberty 1 and Liberty 2, I mean, uh, Tower 1 and Tower 2 went down, and Building 7 went down, and then over in Philly, well, that was in Gomorrah. So in Sodom, or Sodom and Gomorrah, New York and Philly, Liberty 1, Liberty 2 being the target, and then Penn Center Building 8 going down because it's the 7th and into the 8th. Or the seventh and of the eighth. This the eighth the seventh is of the eighth. And it's the race to get there. This is also fifty fifty south. Liberty 2 is 50 South, 16th Street. And on the back of a $50 bill is the bombing at 17th JFK 88888. Jonathan Click, he had something to show me. Penn Center Building 8 at 17th JFK at 8.48 a.m. on October 21st, 2020. Harold Camping's World. Barack Obama shows up. Barack Obama explains his the first job he had at the Baskin Robbins and he was there on that day and at 848 
a.m. The water stopped. I recorded it. It went back up. Jezebel is finished. That 12th tree was cut down. Logan Square. This is for you, Pop. Holy terror.